All right, so going into the weekend, we have had this one before um, where you're in a group. Uh, you guys are all hanging out, and then you develop a crush on a friend, and then you want to go ahead and take this thing to next level, but you're too scared because you think you're going to ruin the friendship. And that's what's going on in her life, and Mo's got the email. Hey, Bird Show fam. First of all, I completely and wholeheartedly love the show and every single one of you, but especially the girls, Cassie, Abby, Kristen, Katie, etc. Thanks. And I need help from everyone, please. All right. My current amazing friend group consists of three girls and three guys. We're all super close to the point where we have a couple in our friend group. But we have become a lot closer in the last few months. My gal friends of the group, who are my absolute best friends for life, have been teasing me for months that I like one of our guy friends. We'll call him John. I denied this because in my head, we were just friends. And he's the sweetest guy. And that's all there was to it. He's a gentleman, smart, cute, funny, etc. About a month ago, we went to see a theater production he was in. Just me and my two friends, who are a couple in our group. I had a light bulb moment. My best friend witnessed the light bulb moment, and she gave me a look. During an admission, when her boyfriend went out to the bathroom, she was like, you like John, don't you? At that moment, I realized I actually really, really, really do like him. That's three reallys. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That was about a month ago. Well... My best friends have been encouraging me that since we are graduating in a month, I should see if John would like to go do something. Just the two of us. I am not the person to do this kind of thing at all. I freak out, thinking he'll say no. It'll make things awkward in our group. All these other what-if scenarios are going off in my head. However, I really do like him, and I kind of really do want to ask. So many reallys. Because <laughs> mm. I don't want to regret not asking in the future if he would have said yes and if it could have gone somewhere. So on the first piece of advice I'm asking for is, do you think I should ask John on a date? The second piece of advice I'm asking for is, if you guys say yes, what do you think I should ask him to do? Or if, what do you think I should ask him to go do that would not be awkward? Thank you for any and all advice you give me. Um, I think you should sleep with him and work your way back. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Just trying to, why waste all this this mental time you're talking about? We're not doing that. Um, here, so Mo and I have said this before, also, man. But I, I might go counter to what we what is obvious. And if a dude digs you, you're gonna know it at some point or another. Like he he might have already made the move. But you and I have also said that we have denied chemistry forever because of uh, lack of self esteem. You just never assume that somebody's really into you. I agree. So uh, I'm not sure what it is. And I think also sometimes a guy may not make a move in a situation like this because he's thinking the same thing you're thinking. He doesn't want to make it awkward either, so he may not ask. Uh, but I feel like if you, I mean, that was a lot of reallys. Yeah. You yeah. really, really, uh, really like him, you got to shoot your shot. Well, no, and I feel the hesitation. So, and and I, I agree with the guys. If a guy likes you, he'll, he'll, he'll make it happen. Like, he'll say something. However, in this instance, because it's a friend group, and you're wanting to preserve the friend group and you don't want to make things awkward, you know, make things awkward. Maybe you would sit on those feelings and you wouldn't be proactive about it. So I, I want to encourage you to, to do something for sure, but I want you to be prepared if it does make things awkward for a while because every, and I hate to say this, but this is my, this is, this is what's happened to me. Every guy friend I had, that tried to like that tried to make a move. Mm -hmm. We ended up like eventually that friendship never lasted. Mm -hmm. They just weren't good at the manipulation. <laughs> um, so I will tell you this: uh, to be totally honest with you, man, I was the weight in the weeds guy for a while. Um, when I was younger, here I am with the reality of what I look like. Uh, but knowing that if I could just befriend somebody, that she might go like, okay, now I see the attraction, right? So. A lot of times I faked being the friends, just hoping and waiting for that opportunity to come along. So you just never really know. Uh, in looking back at it, I just wish I would have shot my shot. 
Yeah, I'm the kind of person that this would bother me to have to try to suppress these feelings, knowing that I have them. I mean, I do agree that if you do shoot your shot, you have to prepare for the fact that you're, the friendship may never be the same again. But do you really want to live the rest of your life wondering yeah. what if? Right. I, I was it. telling you guys that when I was uh, in the gym locker room a couple of weeks ago, there were two doctors talking, right? I, I told you guys mm -hmm. about this. Well. And they were both sharing what people on their deathbed universally um, regret about their lives and that is not shooting their shot living with regret that's the number one thing and it, they couldn't even name what was number two so I, I think that's the worst place to be and I feel like you can do it casually like I don't think she has to make it super awkward and like you know let's go on a date just you could just kind of casually bring up one day like let's go do something let's go celebrate and just kind of feel his energy out and go and let it kind of play out from there Seize okay. the day. There you go. <laughs> or seize the day. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Burt Show.